Hello first grade, my name is Mrs. Robles and today I'm going to show you how to use the bar model for subtraction comparison. I'm going to show you by example, so we are going to begin with a sample problem. Let's read it together. Jan has 10 balloons. Rick has 6 balloons. How many more balloons does Jan have than Rick? How many fewer balloons does Rick have than Jan? First thing we notice about a bar model in this kind of comparison is that there is a large box, you can see it here, I'm going to outline it in green, and then a smaller box, which I'm going to outline in blue. And you have to know which number to put in which box. Well, it would make sense that the larger number would go in the larger box. So I'm going to put Jan's 10 in this box, and I'm going to call it Jan so I don't forget who has 10. Then in the next box, I would put the smaller number because the box is smaller. And I'm going to call that one Rick. So Jan has 10 balloons. Rick has 6. Now I've got to figure out how can I tell how many more or less balloons are there between the two. I'm going to do that with a picture comparison like we did in our assignment yesterday. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 balloons that Jan has. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 that Rick has. When I draw lines connecting the ones that they have that are the same, I end up with four left over. That means that four balloons are what's left that are not part of Rick's numbers. So I am going to say that Jan has four more than Rick, or Rick has four fewer than Jan. To set up the subtraction sentence then, I would have 10 balloons from Jan. I need to take away Rick's 6, and that will equal 4 left over. So 4 balloons more that Jan has, or 4 less that Rick has. Well, let's continue by doing two more sample problems. These are exactly like the ones you'll be doing in your next assignment, so pay attention to how we do them. The directions say read the problem, use the bar model to solve, write the number sentence, then write how many. Number one, Abby has eight stamps. This is important that you know that. Ben has six stamps. How many more stamps does Abby have than Ben? Well, I know I see a big box and a little box. So I'm going to put the largest number, which is 8, in the big box, and I'm going to label it A for Abby. And then 6 stamps is how many Ben has. I know that's less, so that's B for Ben. And they want to know how many more Abby has. Well, I'm going to have to figure out how many the difference is between them. 8 minus 6 would give me that difference. If I don't know how to subtract it, the easiest way then would be draw my picture comparison. That's 8 for Abby. Ben has 6. And I will see that there are 2 left over that I have not lined up. So 2 is the difference between them. So that would mean that 2 is how many more Abby has. 8 minus 6 equals 2. So she has 2 more stamps. Let's look right now at the last example. We'll read it together. Number 2. Tanner has 3 books. Vicki has 6 books. How many fewer books does Tanner have than Vicki? This one's tricky because I see the bigger box. I have to make sure that I put the bigger number here. And this time it's Vicky. So I'm going to put V for Vicky and give her the 6. Then Tanner has 3 books. So I know if I draw a picture comparison how I'm many fewer Tanner has by lining up the ones they have that are the same and seeing what's left over. So I know the leftover number is 3. So there are 3 fewer books. So 6 minus 3 equals 3. 3 fewer books. This is the same pattern you are going to use to solve your 
problems on your assignment. If you don't understand when you start the assignment, then go back to this video, watch it again, and set up your problems the same way. Good luck. Have a great day.